I know in the places that I have gone since his passing on Friday, everyone seems to have a story. Yeah. A Publix, a Home Depot, a QT, a bakery just about his kindness, his decency, and his humility. He really put his efforts into making things better for so many others. Hank Aaron knew people would remember his baseball stats, but more than that, he expressed the hope that he would be known for his passionate support of young people. He helped Major League Baseball invest $2 million in scholarships, and his Chasing the Dream Foundation was dedicated to helping those with limited opportunities achieve their own dreams. His initial goal was to provide 755 scholarships matching his number of home runs. Before his death, he exceeded that target several times over, an achievement of which he was rightfully proud. I will never hit another home run. Um, I had a great career. I played for 23 years, and that's the end of it, you know. Um, I hope that the home run is not the only thing that people or anybody, for that matter, black or white, look at me and say that's the only thing that he could do. The thing that I want them to remember is the kid that, you know, that helped send somebody to school, helped somebody to get through college. The generosity shown by Hank Aaron and his wife Billy over the years was mentioned throughout this week's memorial services. One of their original dream chasers shared the difference their support both financially and personally is making in her life. It is one thing to be told that anything is possible, but it's completely different when you're shown. Mr. and Mrs. Aaron showed me what it means to surround yourself with people who have the drive to make their dreams a reality as well. When athletes retire, they become, you know, former athletes. It was as though he never retired. He was always relevant, always with us here in Atlanta, and always involved in doing things to help people.